Hey y'all, it's Whitney from the First Grade Roundup and I wanted to talk to you about my Digital Counting Collection series. Um, this is the Kindergarten Counting Collection maps that have just come out um, as a new digital resource. First grade and second grade will be coming soon. And I wanted to go over um, what these look like, how they work, how you can assign them in Google Classroom and differentiate them for your kids based on their counting levels and um, just show you how the digital component works. So if you already have my best-selling counting collections resource that's already in my store, um, then this will look very familiar to you. That resource is a paper resource that's intended to be used in your classroom as the kids count actual objects from tubs in counting collections. Um, and so it's got the paper um, response sheets that they would fill out and count with partners. So this resource is just the digital component to that. So they can count digitally on their iPad, their Chromebook, they, you can use this for distance or at home learning um, if you need to, or if you just want a technology option instead of um, having to keep up with the tubs in your classroom. This is what that component is for. Okay, so included in this, I have some, I'll have directions, um, samples, all those things are in the paper resource, and then you'll also have the counting collections maps file, which is what this is. So let's go over that first. So you'll notice that the mats are color coded. The color coding matches the colors on the answer keys from the paper resource just to keep them the same. And so um, this red kindergarten counting collections mat um, counts, has objects sets of objects between the numbers 1 through 10, right? And then you'll notice the slides um, have the goal on there. They have the area for them to show their counting, an area for them to um, tell the total amount, and then it's got the movable objects for them to count, okay? Okay, so it goes on. The reds go through 1 to, through 10. Orange goes 11 through 20. Yellow is 21 through 50. And then you'll notice on the yellow ones, the collection is just up here so that it gives the kids more space to count. And they're a little bit smaller just because they'll need more room to count up to 50 objects. The green mats are 51 through 100. The blue mats are 101 through 200. And then the purple mats are 201 through 500. Okay, so what you're going to want to do if you're assigning a mat for a kid to count is let's say that you want them to count this mat right here okay so i want all of my orange group counters to work on this mat this week okay so my orange group counters are my ones that are working between 11 through 20. they cannot count with one to one and labeling above the number 20. okay so i want them to do this slide first okay I'm just going to, I would just go in order from week to week. You do what, what makes sense to you. That just makes it easier for me to keep up with. Okay. I also have a PDF version of this that has the answer keys. And so you can easily print that out and check off um, which ones you've assigned to your different groups. So you can keep up with that. Okay. So now that I've selected just this slide, I'm going to go to file, make a copy, selected sides, slides, excuse me. Okay, and so I'm going to call this Orange Group Counting Collections. Okay, and it's going to make a copy of this slide. Hopefully it will. It's going kind of slow. There we go. Okay, and once I've made a copy of the slide, then I am ready to assign it in Google Classroom. If you don't know how to get to Google Classroom, you'll just need to have your Google account, and then you will need to go click on the um, keypad, and then scroll all the way down to Classroom, and it will open up Google Classroom. I'm going to choose my Kindergarten Virtual Classroom, because that's where I'm going to assign this. I'm going to choose Classwork up here at the top, and I'm going to create an assignment. And I'm going to call this orange group counting collections. I can add the date if I want to keep track of that. And in the instructions, I'm just going to sound, say count the orange bears. Okay, 
This is, I could do all students. If you want your entire class to count the same mat, um, I would suggest doing this whenever you first start just so that you can share um, the same mat and everybody understands what they're doing. But for this, I just want to assign it to um, certain kids, only my orange group counters. Now this is a fake class, it only has one um, student in it. So whenever I click him, it's going to say all students. That's just because he is the only student. But you would just uncheck all students, check the ones in the orange group that you want to assign this to, and then you are good to go. Okay, I can put in a due date here. Um, I can add the topic, a rubric if I want to. I'm good to go. I'm just going to add the document from Google Drive. There it is Orange Group. Okay, and then over here, this is very important. It says students can view file. I need students to be able to edit the file, but I want to make a copy for each student. If I choose student can edit file, that means that if I have more than one person working on this, that they're, every time they move it, it's going to show it in the other student's um, Google Classroom. And you don't want that. You want each of them to be counting it on their own. So I'm going to choose make a copy for each student. Okay. And I think I've got everything ready. So now I'm just going to assign it. You can also schedule it out if you need to. I'm just going to go ahead and um, assign it so that I can show you what to do. Now I'm going to go into um, Classroom, um, my sweet husband that's in my kindergarten classroom for my example, and I'm going to choose this right here. Whitney Shattuck has a new assignment. Okay, and then he's going to go right here. This is his copy, so it has his name right there so that whenever I'm looking at it, I'll know this is how he copied it or this is how he counted. And then um, he is ready to go. Now he's ready to do the assignment and turn it in. Okay. So now let's talk about how to, how the kids will actually count on the mat. So I'm going to use this one for an example. And then if we have time, we'll go, I'll go through and show you another mat as well. Okay. So this is um, the orange group. So these are numbers 11 through 20. These are the movable objects right here. So he's just going to, if they're on an iPad, use their finger to click and drag. I'm just going to click and drag and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, well, not 12, because that was the last one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay? Okay, once the kids finish um, moving the bears one by one to count them, then they can record how they're counting. If they're working on a Chromebook, it will not be as easy to record their counting. Um, I always like to have my kids record how they counted so I can, um, number one, see exactly how they counted and whether they counted by ones or they saw, in this case, like groups of five or a group of ten um, or what they did. I also like them to record their counting or track their counting because it helps them practice their um, number formation which is also an important skill. So on the Chromebook, it's a little harder. They would have to insert um, text boxes, and that's not really ideal, especially if we're talking about five-year-olds. So um, that's not really going to be a great option for you on the Chromebook. But if they are using the iPad, which this is not an iPad, so I can't show you exactly. But on the iPad, there in the top right corner, there's a little pencil. Um, that you'll see just in the top right, right corner and if you will if they will click that they will go into edit mode and basically they can just write with their finger on top of it and write one two three four or circle like this group of ten and write a ten eleven or write a five ten eleven out to the side so you can see exactly how they counted so that's kind of a plus if you do have iPads in your classroom
Okay. Otherwise, if you have Chromebooks, you'll just kind of have to assume um, how they counted. If if I saw this from a kid, I would I would go, oh, they made a ten frame of bears plus one more, or they were putting them in rows of five. Okay. And then, okay. So right here, you're going to type. So you're just going to highlight. All they'll need to do is highlight and then type the number of bears right there. And then they're ready to turn in um, their collection mat. Okay, so that is um, how they would work through the assignment, and that's kind of what it looks like for um, a level 11 through 20. Now we have just a couple of minutes, so let me um, go back to all of our mats and let me find one that's a little um, more advanced. And so if I'm doing this one and we're using the small ones, and they're counting, and let's say they know how to put them into groups of 10. Okay, then they can show me that. They move them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. And so whenever I look at this as a teacher, it's going to be very clear to me, even if they're not notating their counting, exactly how they counted because I see that they've put them into groups of tens. But again, it would be super helpful to have the edit tool on the iPad, it's also on the iPhone, um, where I could just write underneath each or on top of these columns um, my counting by tens. Okay, perfect. So now I'm out of them. Now I'm going to go back and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. So now on an iPad, I could go back and write ten. 20, 30, and then I would know that that student counted by tens, and then I'm going to go here and type in my number, okay? First grade and second grade are coming soon. This recording mat um, reflects, looks the same as the paper uh, counting mat, where they just have to show how they counted and write the total in kindergarten. In first grade, they have to add and subtract 10 to that number. Um, and do different things with that. And so that will also be reflected in the digital counting mat. So it looks the same digitally and in the paper version. Um, so that will be coming soon. So look for that um, in my store as well. Okay. But I'm going to have these divided by um, grade level. Okay. If you have any questions, you can always email me at Whitney at the first grade roundup.com. I'll be happy to answer your questions. And um, thanks for watching.